Hi, I'm Steve, 84XT, and welcome to the channel. If you're a first timer, how about hitting that like and subscribe button and uh, welcome aboard. Uh, today, I'm gonna go over an antenna I purchased, a three element Yagi, yeah, in a box about this size. You guessed it, it's an arrow antenna, two meter Yagi antenna. I've got some tips and tricks I'm gonna employ with it, so uh, stick around, let's take a look at it. Okay, well this is not really going to be an unboxing video. Uh, I did want to show the box because the people at Arrow Antenna, they really use a robust box. I mean, it, it's stapled in the ends and it's not going to get damaged in the shipping. But, but first what I wanted to show was I have played with these antennas before. This is what everybody's seen before is the tape measure Yagi antennas. Uh, this is one for two meters. We built this and fold it out. Built this at a club event. And uh, I, oh, probably several years ago, uh, the idea is, is to get some more people into fox hunting. And it's a, it's a good little antenna. I can, I can transmit on it, but uh, when I built this, I built it a little more heavier duty. I probably should have used half inch PVC instead of this three quarter. I think they were out of something. But anyways, it's the basic Yagi antenna. There's tons of them on online. You can get the designs and uh, make you one. And uh, works good. But I just kind of wanted something uh, from Arrow. I've been looking at them and uh, decided to pick me one up. Okay, here it is out of the box. Uh, it's basically the three element version, two meter only antenna. And my purpose behind this was to have an antenna I could take with me up on a hilltop and do some uh, two meter simplex from. Two meter simplex seems to be getting really popular, especially from hilltops with just, with just five watts. And I wanted small, something small enough I could pack along with me. So let me uh, put this thing together. I also got the uh, split boom model where the boom comes in two pieces, uh, packs everything down a little bit smaller. So let me put it together real quick. They gave the, them the name, the company name is Arrow Antennas, and you probably guessed it. These are actually arrows. I wished I had saved a whole bunch that I threw away back in the day for one reason or another. I could have repurposed them for something like this, but they did a really good job engineering and putting, designing and and building a, a good antenna. So, if I can get it all in the, in the shot here, which I can't. Okay, I've got it all together laid out on the table. It kind of gives the apparent, appearance that it's bigger than it is, but it's not. And remember, lightweight uh, aluminum arrow elements, uh, not, that, not too heavy. Just the three element design. You've got the, uh, the gamma, gamma match here in the middle. B and C connector. And three elements. And a nice foam handle that, uh, that works pretty good. If you're not, you're not swinging it around too long, uh, it doesn't get heavy. I've got, uh, let's see, for coax, just six foot of a RG316. Uh, gonna match this up with my Baofeng HT and again I have played with it so uh, but uh, it can get heavy if you're uh, you're holding it for a long time so that's where I've got some uh, ideas here okay here it is fully assembled and 
This antenna is not heavy. It's, it's just barely over a pound, somewhere between a pound, a pound and a half like this. That's why I got the uh, two meter version only. It's a little bit lighter. But uh, if you're just going out for just a little while, it's not a problem holding an HT and, and operate. But last couple times I was out, I found myself out 45 minutes uh, holding and just uh, making contacts. And I says, man, if I had something to hold this just a little bit, uh, so got me thinking. So let me show you my couple ideas that I'm going to deploy next time on that. To take the foam handle off, just insert a screwdriver or something small and round and just work it around and around the foam. And you can work the foam off in one piece and it won't hurt it. You can put it right back on, off and on. I've done mine that way several times. With the grip handle removed, and it removes very easily and, and you can put it back on. I found uh, one hole already here, and this is probably when they make a four element version of the same antenna on the same boom, possibly, I don't know, but it already had one hole there. And what I'm doing is uh, two different types of mounting. I'm made, making my own mounting bracket, and I drilled out two more holes, one of them for a little bit, two and a half inch. U-bolt uh, here, and then I've got another smaller U-bolt for uh, three-quarter inch uh, PVC. I'm kind of experimenting with uh, trying to make something lightweight to uh, kind of stand it up at eight foot and hold it by hand, hold the pole rather than the antenna. So these two fit here and these fit the smaller pole and what i'm using is the standard uh military mask that uh you've seen well they call it mask they're, they're they're tent supports in the military but this one right here is how i'm going to mount on military mask uh four foot lengths and it will uh stand up and secure real nicely and the smaller one here is going to be, and it's kind of an experiment still. I'm not sure if I'm 100% going to use it, but three quarter inch PVC like that and have a mast like that. And in, surprisingly, it does hold. There's a little bit of fatigue with using smaller because I'm using a spacer and two poles together. So let's go outside and, uh, and, and take a look and see how it works. And I'll show you how I mount it to the ground and, uh, and to where you can just let go of it if you're operating and not have to worry about holding it the whole time. Okay, this is what it looks like mounted on the military mast pole I've got. I've got a uh, bag full of these and uh, two and a half inch mounts really well. It's secure. I'll be able to stand here. Now this is just a four foot piece. I plan on using, when I go out like this, two of them, I'm gonna put one on top. Uh, six foot of coax should bring my HT right here. I've, I've uh, tested it in the backyard works fine I've got some metal fence posts in the ground kind of holding this and uh, I kind of got the idea hey why couldn't I do that in the field you know if it's a place I can hammer something in the ground let me take it up to eight foot all right this is the antenna set up on two sections of the four foot mass so we've got eight foot and just two of them. Now this would work if you're 
if you're driving to the hilltop and not going very far at all I mean you couldn't throw these four foot sections in your backpack I wouldn't try it but it, it is the most sturdiest way to uh, do this and I can just uh, stand there hold it very easily no no arm fatigue there and just uh, make my contacts like that let me now let me switch over to this other idea that I haven't perfected but uh, hey let me show you Okay, here we are with my option number two. Take an eight piece, 18 inch piece of rebar. Pardon the neighbors, they're cutting grass, but this is just to help hold it. And this is on three quarter inch PVC pipe. This is what it looks like on the three quarter inch PVC pipe. A little bit flimsier it will hold uh, let me extend it on up to the eight foot level because that's where I want it the antenna above my head and operating Well, here I am at the eight foot level with the PVC pipe. It's, it's a little flimsier, but probably won't be letting it go ever. I'll just be holding it like this and working my direction of wherever I need to go. And when it's at this height, it'll clear you all the way around. It's a six foot of a uh, coax. I, I think this will work. It's a lot lighter than the military mask but I have both designs so I don't know there you go got it got it either way if you got military mask use it if you don't get you some PVC pipe and uh, mount it up I think it'll work really well some final thoughts on the uh, arrow antenna well I think we're gonna need to make this a uh, part one of uh, a two-part video uh, not going to operate it with it today, but I have used this antenna several times and I enjoy it. It's, uh, it's going with me every time to the hilltop. FM simplex is a lot of fun, especially get, get a little height above the ground and uh, that hilltop uh, makes all the difference in the world. So anyways, part one of part two, we'll go operate in part two. Try to do a parks on the air activation with it. That'd be a lot of fun. So. Uh, yeah, stick around with me for the next video and uh, enjoyed you watching. Take care. Stay radioactive. 73. So this is what it looks like at the four foot level on PVC pipe, the three quarter inch. I don't tangle myself up. Oh.